I've got to do that bathroom cleaning video. What's behind this door? It's the stuff the nightmares are made from. And no, I'm not talking about your closet where paranormal activity happens. And yes, it does happen, by the way. I'm talking about your bathroom, which is a whole other level of terror. It's no secret, people don't like cleaning the bathroom. And I'm no different from you guys. Vacuuming has to be my least favorite cleaning task, but bathroom practically fights vacuuming for first place. Now, even though I hate cleaning the bathroom, I got to admit, there's nothing quite like stepping into a clean bathroom. It's practically euphoria. You go in there, you brush your teeth, use the bathroom, toilet, wash your hands, shower, you want to get clean in a clean place. So for all of you who are like me, who want a clean bathroom, but don't like doing it, I've devised the Melissa Maker kick-ass bathroom cleaning program. It's really easy. Well, it's straightforward. It might take you a bit of time, but I promise you, once you do it, your bathroom will be amazingly clean and so much easier to maintain, or else a full money-back guarantee. Quick note to all of you who say, but Melissa, your place is so much cleaner than mine. Because you always say that. Well, let me tell you, this is going to work regardless of how clean or dirty your bathroom is. So we're using my bathroom, but if your bathroom's a lot dirtier, it's the same process and it will get you the same results. It'll just take you a little bit longer the first time. So stick with it. And with all of our videos, we give you a list of recommended cleaning tools and products to help you effectively clean your space, this one is no different. And you can find that list on our blog, which is cleanmyspace.com. And I'll put that link for you in the description box below. So without further ado, we will read it off my phone. Here's the list. You'll need about five microfiber cloths. You'll need some paper towels to clean your toilet. You'll need a squeegee, and we'll talk about that in the shower. All-purpose cleaner and disinfectant. So you can probably get an all-purpose cleaner with disinfectant. That would save you an extra product. A glass cleaner, or if you're like me, I just use a bit of water on my microfiber cloth when I'm cleaning my mirrors. But if you have shower glass doors, you might wanna use something else. Tub and tile slash toilet cleaner. So a bathroom cleaner of your choice. Baking soda and vinegar if you like to swing the green way. A uh, double-sided sponge, and I love the non-scratching type, which is usually blue on blue, and you'll see mine in a sec. Toilet bowl brush, which is clearly only used in one place, the kitchen. Garbage bags, a mop pole or a broomstick with a hair elastic. I'll give you reasoning for that shortly. And you can also get a cleaning toothbrush, not to be confused with your regular toothbrush, because I sure wouldn't want to brush my teeth with that. So without further ado, let's break into the commode and start our cleaning. We'll use the same three-wave approach that we used in the bedroom cleaning video. Wave number one. This involves tidying, organizing, and pre-treating the toilet and shower. Wave one is pretty straightforward. I'm putting dirty laundry and towels in a laundry pile. Scattered items are going away. I'm throwing garbage out and organizing as I go along. If you find a misplaced item that doesn't belong in the bathroom, just leave it by your door. You can deal with it later. The other important part of this wave is pre-treating surfaces like the toilet and shower tiles, since these need dwell time to break down the buildup. So I'm pre-treating with my bathroom cleaner. Next, on to wave two, which starts by doing high dusting using a mop hole and microfiber cloth. You can tackle your vent as well. Back to your starting point, you'll notice that I am now doing my dusting, cleaning, and polishing. That's really the core of wave two. Starting high to low, I search for dusty and dirty areas and clean them as required. Now onto my mirror, where I'm only spot cleaning the dirty areas using a bit of water on my microfiber cloth. One of the bigger jobs in my bathroom involves cleaning the counter. 
I do the half to the left of the sink first, and then I move on to the right afterwards. I'll remove all items, spray and soak the counter, wipe using an S pattern, and then wipe and replace each item and line it up neatly. Doesn't that look great? Ladies, learn from my mistake and put your hair up before you start doing this. Then, I'll wipe the covered doors and handles. And now, on to my medicine cabinet. Mine may not look like yours, but it does have a ton of bathroom stuff. You'll notice I lay a paper towel down on my clean counter. That way, I'm not placing dirty items on top of an already clean surface. Shelf by shelf, I remove everything. I wipe the shelves and then carefully wipe and replace each item. Sadly, or happily, that's about half my nail polish collection. Now, on to the toilet. Note how I'm using paper towel to wipe it down because I can throw the paper towel away at the end. Just don't flush it down the toilet. I have a more detailed video on cleaning the toilet and you'll see the link at the end of this video. Now that the toilet is done, off come the gloves. Next, let's clean the shower and tub. I'll respray the tiles and scrub using an S pattern. For tile and grout that needs some cleaning, I'll use a bit of baking soda and a cleaning toothbrush to scrub the grout lines. Good thing I didn't wear low rise jeans today. <laughs> Then, we rinse the tile walls. I'll use my shower head and then dry the tiles with a squeegee. To learn how to clean your shower, watch our in-depth shower cleaning video. Following this, I'll spray the tub down and use some baking soda to add extra abrasion. I'll scrub it from back to front using my double-sided non-scratching sponge and then I'll rinse it and dry it. Remember to polish the chrome with a dry cloth as well. Now I'll wipe and replace all of my shower items. I'll finish up wave two by cleaning my bathroom sink. I leave it till the end just in case I need to use any other water during the cleaning. That way I don't need to re-clean it. Congrats, you made it to wave three. We'll start this wave at our starting point and work our way around the room wiping all points of contact using a disinfectant. We'll also use this opportunity to change the garbage. And our last job is cleaning the floor. I find it best to clean by hand. Using a mop is kind of a waste of time for such a small space. When you use a cloth and some water with a little bit of vinegar, you'll clean the floors beautifully and you can collect all hair and debris. So, whether you're cleaning up your bathroom to impress your new boyfriend or girlfriend, doing your mom a favor, or cleaning up after a wild family of five, now you know how to clean the bathroom. No excuses, guys. If you liked this video and you're inspired and you're gonna go and clean your bathroom right now, do me a favor and take a before and after picture. I really wanna see it, so put it up on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash cleanmyspace. Tweet it to us at twitter.com slash cleanmyspace, or you can even email it to me, and you know where to find our email address, but it's melissa at cleanmyspace.com. And maybe, just maybe, if I think you did a bang up job, I might send you a prize, or share it on our Facebook page, or mention you in an upcoming video, but I wanna see what you guys can do. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know if you found it helpful. If you have any bathroom cleaning tips, or questions, you can leave me a comment in the comment box below. We also have a couple of great detailed bathroom cleaning videos which will pop at the end of this video. And if you love cleaning or wanna know more about cleaning, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't done so already to catch more of our great cleaning videos. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck cleaning your bathroom and we'll see you next time.